Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So it's finally a week that I can finally take a break, right? Because it's a duplicate or a repeated ultimate stage. So no diamonds needed for me to farm this week. Okay, so Diablo is back for like I don't know. I've lost count already, right? So ultimate stage as well as nightmare stage. So in this video, we're gonna take down ultimate stage. So I'm not sure how many people, how many of you actually still watch the ultimate stage, right? But because it's such an old um, stage. I'll try to challenge myself a bit. Alright, so note that this stage have no hard runes, right? And we are going in with a team that requires hard rune to attack. Hmm. Let's try Diablo versus Diablo. Alright, so Diablo uses overheal in which you need to dissolve hard runes. Alright, so this is gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. Right, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. So you can see we have um, Ally Merlin because of his uh, extra recovery, recovery times 4, which is very big for a Diablo team. Right, so stage wise, I'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with it already. So, active skill all up and ready for you for the first battle. So, here I'm just trying to um, waste a few turns, right, because as you guys know. Uh, yes, although all your skills are ready um, But Morris Morris convert still takes time to be up Right, so at this point of time I'm just trying to um, Get my Craft ready As well as some CD ready Right, and Let's try to take down that um, That egg Sprite egg there Right, so I'm just gonna take a hit from Yidra. Right, so I can take one hit, that's fine. And preferably not get hit again. Okay, there we go. So one more spin and then we have to pretty much kill kill off this stage already. Right, we are not gonna heal back. Because there is no hard runes. But anyway, we are going to activate uh, Soul Awakened Door here because of the power release skill or giving you times 2 recovery until there's no hard dissolve. But other than that, turn the column below the monster into hard runes. So we can use this column to actually deal some damage here. Right, overheal damage. So I did a full attack, so I have one extra hard runes on the board. So Merlin enchants the hard rune every round if you have any. Alright, so next we have the butterfly stage. So note that we have an explosive egg here that's, that's dealing 20,000 damage. But I tried bringing in Sarah, the, the water elf. Alright, her damage reduction does not negate the 20%. Or does not reduce the 20%, so you still die. Alright, I tried that. So... The only elf that pretty much can pull this off is uh, Machiosas here with 50% uh, 50,000 non attributive damage. Right, but that sadly is gonna remove away your um, times 2 recovery buff there. So here we are just gonna store for one more round so Morris can convert to his maximum capability. Okay, go, go, go. So here, you want to um, conserve, I would say, conserve as many hard runes as you can. There we go. So moving on, we have a uh, Magnus stage. So once again, we have our CD restore there, so we can use our Soul Awakened door once again. And pretty much that's, that's about it. <laughs> that's all the cards you need. Okay, so here we have the lower the HP, the higher the attack. So we can actually afford to store, right? So once again, every storing, um, every storing battle here is pretty much uh to charge up Morris convert convert ability, right? Nothing else.
Ooh. Okay. We are moving. We are, we are moving on. <laughs> okay, so. So a good thing is overheal damage actually will be a full attack. So you don't, do not have to keep dissolving like 5 heart runes just to do a full, you know. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Let's go double hit, right? Let's, yeah, let's go double hit. So here, we are definitely going for the times 2 recovery once again. Right, so I'm n definitely not gonna waste all the hard runes, right? Um, yeah, conserve. Conserve is the key to winning this battle here, right? Because you have limited convert and you have to really estimate how much of this, um, Hard runes you need to actually deal your damage here. Okay, so we can kind of afford a convert here. Right. Okay, and then just just use three. So the sad thing is the times two recovery is gonna go off because we have to dissolve hard runes every round to to kind of maintain that buff right? but we can't afford to do so because we are on a budget right we only have that much hard runes on the board so uh let's let's goodbye we're not gonna need that anymore so meanwhile it's just pretty much storing for morris once again because we have isabel here with the initial shield so until she takes some sort of damage we can't hit her so okay so we let's take that as a blessing this guys so uh, she's back at CD3 right so I'm just gonna chip a bit of her HP down okay and then continue storing <laughs> right okay we can actually still afford to store can we Yes, we can. Okay. So since we uh, kind of heal back because we did like an overheal, means that we can actually still take a hit from Isabel and then she's like back to CD3. Yup, so we're just going to be a bit conservative here. Right, we will have to do a convert if we have to. Right, looking at the damage, we can possibly just kill her off with a normal attack can we can we do that i think it's very possible we just need to dissolve more light runes oh can we can we do it can we do it please 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 yes okay <laughs> we are done so moving on battle five so battle 5 we have uh, the PR material which is no problem, we can continue storing that. Uh, by the way, Morris is already at maximum capacity so let's not uh, waste any more time, you can pretty much do a all out attack here and then take down the power release material. Alright, I... yeah, we can do that or we can store for our Soul Awakened door. totally forgot about that. Alright, so anyway, uh, Margaret the Queen Bee here. So, uh, we'll just go for a Morris Convert and then we can, uh, I don't know, store? So I'm gonna go for full attack here and get one enchanted um, Earth Rune back on the board. Alright, so this overheal is definitely gonna take down, okay, I was about to say the egg, but took down the first body of Margaret the Queen Bee as well. So. At this point of time, we can store because um, of our Diablo tumbler, sh tumbler skill. So with her resurrected times two HP and times two attack, is not gonna really affect us, right? So if possible, I'm gonna use um, the awakened door in this particular stage because uh, uh, let me go. Before before that happened, let me just um, do a spin here. Okay, is that gonna kill? No, that's not gonna kill. Okay, so the reason why I'm gonna use Soul Awakened Doll's um, active skill here is because the convert is a column convert, alright? So 
Diablo having a uh, 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 you know five color shield right you won't know what's on the board right by doing a column convert it might disrupt any of the five colors so I'm just gonna use it here and uh, we can yeah yeah that's about it so let's try to over Q okay so now we are left with moist boom okay so Diablo the good old soul master oh why is so dark okay so uh, we have five convert hopefully it doesn't convert away hard runes Oh, I mean, it doesn't convert away light wound, sorry. Okay, so anyway, we have five colors on the board. Yeah? So, showtime. We have Merlin to increase uh, the recovery to the max 3.5. Right, so this is a very tricky board to spin because you can see that all the colors, light wounds are very far apart. Earth wounds are very far apart. Okay, so we are gonna go with... Hmm. Three set, one set of three hard runes. Doesn't matter, screw it. I'm quite sure it is more than sufficient to kill it, right? So the reason why I active uh why I use this uh craft is uh because of the sixty percent recovery buff 60% right that's pretty much one of the highest uh, recovery buff for a uh, dragonic craft right so you can see the second effect recovery plus 60% go <laughs> so it's, a, it's quite a fun fun team to play I mean like on a condition where there is no hard runes I mean obviously you can use Lucy but Lucy is just idiot proof, right? You do a column of four hard runes come down and then that's it. So uh what I'm challenging myself here is pretty much the achievement as well. <coughs> Doing mono earth, uh, no, mono elf as well as five attributes. So which is why you can see a rainbow team of elf. Alright, so you can't see the achievement being cleared because I've already done it before already. So let's show you guys the achievement real quick. Right, team consists of only elf as well as team consisting members of five attributes all right so something interesting here obviously it's not going to be a very efficient team if you want to play the stage over and over again right this is pretty much for entertainment purposes so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and then i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye